Hey! Welcome you horse sniffing ball buggers to another Robot Adventures review. I can't hold that up, so it's going to have to go away. Uh, anyway, this is the start of the Revenge of the Fallen. I might throw in something else in between. With a red wine, hi, come by, hi. But, uh, so you guys seen these things on the on the website. There you go. This is the Golden Week Special Edition. Of course, I picked up two of each. And they come with the, I guess, the little mini poster. I want you to take a look at that date. 620! Six twenty, six days before the American release. <clears throat> Just like to say, uh, this is truly the revenge of the Transformer fans because England's going to get it on the nineteenth, Japan's on the twentieth, America on the twenty-sixth. So, of course, you guys can tune in to me, uh, giving you all the spoilers. And uh, all of the all of the plot holes or whatever, because that's what I had to endure last year. I couldn't listen to anybody's reviews because they told me what the fuck was going to go on, and I can't watch a movie if I know what the fuck is going to go on. So <clears throat> this is uh, what we get when we uh, buy a transformer. Oh my! Let's see if I can do this without so much light. So, this comes inside a transformer. Of course, I picked up a couple of these guys. I don't know. I won't tell you which ones I've picked up. Well, actually, I do know which ones I've gotten, but I've gotten most of them. I would say I've gotten a lot of them. I haven't gotten them all because uh, some of the figures are so-so, and I really don't care much for them. So, <clears throat> I haven't gotten that yet. I'm thinking about picking it up, but if I wear this Bumblebee helmet, you'll be able to see my face. Those things, I don't know. If I've gotten to these guys, of course I'll pick up all of these guys. These guys, I don't know which ones are the good ones. but Anyway, I'll show you uh, this little... I think it's supposed to be a pill case or something. And those are some instructions. Of course, we don't need no stinging instructions. I don't need no instructions. Instructions. I do pinche madre. And mama said culo. No instructions, man. I don't need no instructions. Spinny, spinny with the wine glass. Eh? In the reflection, you can see a whole bunch of shit. <coughs> yeah. All right. Let's see if we can auto focus down on that biatch. I don't know. Let's, let's just get right up on it. Right up on it. Bam, 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 bam. Oh. I don't even know what song that is, but. That was kind of funky. Alright, there we go. Okay, that's auto focusified right there. It's done be focusified. It's rotated around. <coughs> Alright, well, that's how it looks. All in the rotationification. And to give you a little bit of size comparison. It's about a half of the bottle of a uh, thing of Tabasco sauce. It's about oh shit so, that level on a figure. I don't know what figure that is. And let's see. 
What else can I compare it to? You have no idea what this thing is. <laughs> It's about the same size of that thing. Mm. Uh, ankle high on a Gundam? Is that a Gundam? I don't know what that is. Alright, well, anyway, let's transform it. And, uh, talk about a so you just flap that thing backwards. The top half just flaps. Yeah. And Ta -da! you're finished. Written in English, not in Japanese, so kind of a rip-off, but... At least we got a special thing for coming in early. I got my four tickets and my two of these things, and... So... You guys remember that, uh, SNL skit? Put your weed in there! So, I, I would imagine you could probably... St probably... I'm saying you could probably stick in a pinner. I mean, you can probably, if you roll it really tight, maybe cut it in half, you might be able to get a, a pinner in there. Uh, you could probably put a lot of fucking mm, coke in there, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know how good the coke would be after you snorting it out of that, but I think if you're doing coke... You really don't care that much, so it might be okay. Uh, heroin, I don't think it would be good for heroin because, uh, it might be sticky or some shit. I don't know. You know, the junkies are, I don't know how those heroin people are. Well, you can put a lot of acid in there. Put a bunch of micro dot or some, some stuff might be good for that. Um, what else could you put in? I mean, I guess if the police were after you, and you put all your drugs inside of here, and then you closed it up and transformed it back, they'd be like, holy fuck, and this guy is completely clean because we can't find any drugs on him. Let's see, do something like that. Here's your, here's your drug com compartment right there. You'd hide that up, and then you flap this part back over the top, and be like, "Oh my God, there are, there are no drugs in this in this drug container. This is essentially a drug container because uh, you you can call it a a medicine pill uh, capsule kind of thing, but." Basically, what that boils down to is you put drugs inside of this thing and then you use the drugs later. Essentially, that's what you're doing. You want to deceive yourself and say you're not doing drugs, well, then you're a liar. So, Transformers and Drugs, good mix. All right, high five with that, a little bit of Kampai. Yeah. Oh, you almost saw. Well, you see me in a t-shirt, but that's all, all you see. <laughs> Alright, guys. This is the start of the Revenge of the Fallen. I'm going to spoil the movie next uh, vlog. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.